So beating Stephen with just the Beautifly was brutal. And I think beating Stephen with just the Dust Ox is going to be almost impossible. So let's take a look at Dust Ox's stats. Dust Ox has a good special defense and a decent defense. But the rest of its stats are pretty mediocre. Dust Ox doesn't have the moves or the stats to overpower Steven. And unfortunately, Toxic's not going to work against three of Steven's Pokemon because they're still type and they're immune to Toxic. I'm also going to need Swagger to damage Steven's Pokemon. Double Team works well with Swagger because Swagger increases the attack of Steven's Pokemon. So Evasion's going to be a very important part of this challenge. And last, I have Psychic to damage the Pokemon that these tactics don't work on. And unfortunately I only had room for one attack. I chose a special attack because my Dust Stocks got really bad attack RVs and got good special attack RVs. So I had to choose a special attack. If it had a better attack stat, I probably would have chosen Shadow Ball. That way I could have overcame the Metagross a lot easier. Silver Wind was also out of the question because I could only get it to a maximum PP of 8. Speaking of PP, PP was a, a problem in this challenge, so I had to use a few PP ups to make sure that I didn't run out of the moves I needed to win the challenge. Alright, so here's a look at my Dust Talks. I chose Leftovers, and I invested as much as I could in HP and Defense to make sure that my Dust Talks was as bulky as possible, considering that Steven used only physical attacks except for Thunder with Agron, which always missed with double teams almost and uh, Metagross who used Psychic, the only two special attacks I encountered dur during the challenge. I was also lucky with the nature of my Dust Ox, a lax nature, which boosted my defense, which I really needed for this challenge. Anyway, here's the fight. Okay, so first is Skarmory. I had an easy, consistent way to knock it out, which was to just spam Psychic, but unfortunately that used too much PP off of Psychic, so I had to throw a few Swaggers into the mix. I nearly knock it out, but unfortunately Steven uses full restore and I have to use more psychics than I originally intended. I get lucky here because uh, it hits itself in confusion twice in a row and I get the knockout. Next is Cradley. It doesn't get off to a good start. I miss a toxic. I keep on getting hit by ancient power despite using, using double team. And I even get hit by Confuse Ray, which uh, made me think this run was over, but I hit myself in Confusion a few times, which looked bad, but it allowed me to conserve PP, which was very important for the rest of the battle. Eventually it dies due to Toxic. Next is Claydol. First I poison it, then I get to finish setting up with all my double teams, so I can have maximum evasion. I hit it with Psychic so that Toxic knocks it out, so that Steven doesn't use a full restore on it. Next is Amaldo the Menace. It has Aero Ace, which always hits, and I'm not on that much health, so it's a bit worrying. I try to knock it out with the Toxic and Psychic, but I just miss out, so Steven uses a full restore, so I poison it again. Then I uh, just stall a bit. Lucky he uses Ancient Power instead of Aero Ace. I use a Psychic, it hits me with Aero Ace, and then I knock it out. If it used another Aero Ace instead of Ancient Power, I would have been dead. Next is Metagross, the run killer. Metagross is an absolute menace. It's immune to Toxic. Psychic is four times resisted by it, so I can't really damage it with Psychic. So I have to rely on Swagger. So I stall until it snaps out of Confusion. And when it snaps out of confusion, I use Swagger again because I don't want to build it up its attack to maximum straight away. It hits itself in confusion again. I'm lucky. It restores a bit of health. I use Swagger on it again to make sure it kills itself if it hits itself in confusion. And it does. That's Metagross, the toughest Pokemon that way. Well, that was super lucky. It hit itself in confusion four times out of six. And it also missed three of its attacks. Alright, so I was very nervous at this point. I only had two Psychics left, and the first Psychic did hardly any damage to Agron, so I had to rely on some Swaggers. So, it snaps out of Confusion, misses the Earthquake. I use another Swagger. 
It hits me with Earthquake, almost knocks me out, luckily it didn't. I use my last Psychic, it's still got lots of health, it hits itself in Confusion. Steven doesn't use a full restore on it, and it hits itself in Confusion again. That was lucky, and I finally bet him. Lucky I knocked it out. I don't think I would have had the patience to try to beat Steven again if I failed that time. That was the first time I defeated Metagross in an hour, and I was playing the game in fast forward most of the time. Armaldo was really hard to beat, and and the start of the battle wasn't super consistent either. If you want to see more videos like this, leave comments down below. And if you want to follow me, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.